Hey, craft artists. This is Sherry again. You've probably seen this done a million times, but I wanted to show you a real quick, easy version. Um, I cut a lot of it out of the video, so I'll just kind of explain it. Take a Christmas bag, any size, any style, and a piece of canvas. Try to get it on sale at Michael's or Joann's if you've got coupons. And you want to cut the bag to match the, the uh, canvas the best you can. Sometimes I paint the trim and then put the picture on top. And of course, there's always two sides to every bag. So I always use the folded side of the bag as a guide to start the project. And then I use a paper cutter, um, kind of like you see in schools or, or maybe a, a, a craft paper cutter to get a nice crisp edge on this. And what I've done is I've used Mod Podge, just Mod Podge mat cover the whole surface. Try to keep it off the edges. Got a little bit over here, but try to keep it off the edges. Save your little tag that come with the bag because you can use that as a hanger. Then you're just simply going to line the bag up. Move it around. Get it nice and straight best you can. Pull out the air bubbles. Go around the edge with your fingers, moosh, moosh, moosh. And then what I like to do is take the other piece that I'm not going to use because, come on guys, you can get these at the dollar store for a buck. Trash this side and just use the good side. Take an iron and iron down the corners. And I'm using the bag on top here to keep me from burning my paper or my canvas. My iron is set at about polyester. Just go down the front of it too. Trying to remove any air bubbles. And on the bigger canvases that I do, I'll go in the middle with my iron. Can't get it in this small one, but you know what I'm talking about. those air bubbles. These make awesome gifts guys. So then what you're going to do is just hot glue gun the ribbon to the back. This becomes a hanger and you could just let that dangle off the side or not use it. Use it on another project but use the ribbon as your little hanger and then hang it up on the wall. It's pretty cool. This has glitter on it. The red truck is kind of the end theme right now. Probably would have used a bigger piece of canvas for this, but all I had to show you guys was just these smaller ones or great big giant ones, which it was too big for this bag. But it gives you an idea how it's done. Let me show you another one I just finished. This one's really cool. This one has a tag that matches this design, so I'm gonna use that tag up here as a hanger. This is about a 12 by 14, I think it is, just to give you an idea. So again, nutshell, you're just going to take a piece of canvas, cover it with decoupage, cut you out a piece of bag, place it on, mash down the edges real good, then take your hot iron, use a piece of paper or a piece of parchment, and just go over the edges to get them good and locked down. A little across the middle here, the edges. And it mushes them down. You don't have to decoupage the top of it. Sometimes you'll get a little decoupage stain on there. Just take your finger with a little water, just a tiny bit, and scratch off that extra decoupage because it'll have a sheen to it. And that's it, guys. These make awesome gifts. Dollar store. Dollar Tree for the bag, and you can buy these at Michael's in bulk. Catch the Christmas sales, and you can get them as doorbusters. All right, guys, happy crafting. Good luck. Have fun.